Can't decide which vocation to play? Well, why not play them all? The Warfare is a wild vocation that gives you access to every weapon, every armor piece, every augment, every core skill, almost every weapon skill, and more. So, let's go. Let me know what Warfarer build you're running in the comments below. So, how to unlock the Warfarer, you will need to talk to Lamond in the Volcanic Island camp, but he is up the top in the Hot Springs area. Now, by speaking to him, he will give you a quest, and what you'll need to bring him is Newt Liquor. Now, you can get Newt Liquor in the Higgs Tavern Stand at Back Batal. Now, here, what you'll need to do is like grab a bag and put it into the fenced area, which will then trigger a cutscene, which will then put you into the upstairs section of the tavern which will allow you to buy new liquor for 5,000 gold each. You'll need to buy three of these and bring him all three. You could buy two and then just grab the one that is actually at the dwarf's house in the volcanic island camp. But either way, you've got to give him three and then he will complete the quest and he'll give you the warfare vocation. Now, at the same time, he should give you the Grandmaster's Path so you can unlock Rearmament, which is the Maester skill and like the core like skill for the warfare so make sure he does give it to you and you might need to like linger so that he talks to you again and then gives it to you but just make sure you get the skill from him all right so the vocation itself is really interesting now essentially here you can equip every single weapon from all the other vocations and use all of their skills except for their maester skill so you can't use the maester skill here which is the trade-off now one thing to note as well is that the weight of the first weapon will be the only only one that actually counts towards your carry weight so you can carry nine weapons without being you know heavily encumbered so really what you've got to decide is which vocations that you are going to use and that's a tough decision because I mean they're all relatively good now one thing to consider here is that you need vocations that have a really good basic attack or that really excel with only one or two skills because you are going to be limited to three skills total if you're going to to use that fourth slot for rearmament so you can switch weapons now you don't have to do that right like you can just run four skills and actually manually change your weapons in your equipment inventory by unequipping whatever you've got equipped and equipping another one but that's just complicated so think about the vocations that you personally connect with that you enjoy that maybe have like one or two skills that you really like a really good example for me personally is the magic archer i love the magic archer's basic attack here it's also one of the best in the game right it auto targets you can hit weak points it does a ton of damage Plus, like when you buff it with all the core skills from the vocation line, it's really good. So Magic Archer is a great ranged options to connect with and then figuring out what else you want to use it with because there isn't really much point in just having one vocation equipped, right? Unless you just want to go, you know, full fashions dogma so you can wear like any armor. But really, like you've got to figure out what you want to use. Now, I'll give you some build examples in a little bit. We're just going to cover a bit more about the vocation itself. So there is definitely a balance to the amount of weapons you should be using, right? Because theoretically, you can equip them all, but you don't want to be switching between them to find the exact one you're looking for or the one weapon you have a skill equipped for, right? So just think about that balance of how many you're using. Now, another thing to note is that the core skills are only active when you have the corresponding weapon active for that vocation. The best example of this is right for like the mage or the sorcerer, you have to have a staff equipped if you want to actually be able to use levitate. And on that same note, having a mage staff equipped at most times is not a bad idea. So you can use the triangle heal ability if you do need a little bit of extra healing and when you have a weapon active like a vocation active your stats will actually change to match that specific vocation now it won't be min max or to the perfect degree that the other actual vocation is like using the magic archer here in an example you can see that my magic stat is actually less when i'm a warfarer compared to when i'm actually a magic archer even though it like took my armor off because you know i can't wear that armor as a magic archer but you can see there that the stats are actually different so that's part of the trade-off here is that you lose access to the maester skills for the vocations. You lose access to like essentially having like perfect or like close to perfect like stats, right? But the benefits here is that you can switch weapons of any of the weapons. You can use any of the skills that aren't the maester skills and you've got that flexibility and you can sort of think about how you can combo the different vocations together, right? So for the best skills and augments here, 
I mean, there isn't really any because the Warfarer doesn't have its own skills. It's just rearmament that you can do. Now, if you are using rearmament, make sure that you're setting the equipped order correctly. That's something that you pref like, like in the order that makes sense to you, right? Like, let's say if you start combat using one specific skill all the time, make sure that that one's like at the start of the order. So, you know, sort of, and then you can like flow into the other ones. For augments, you do get two here that are exclusive to the Warfarer. You get Zeal, which reduces the stamina consumed when performing a weapon skill and dynamism which reduces the amount by which weight affects your movement speed both are pretty solid and you could definitely run both but your other augments are really dependent on the build you're running so let's give you some build combos to try let's start with a ranged combo being the sorcerer and the magic archer now the sorcerer has some insane damage spells but a pretty average and weak basic attack which we're alleviating by using the magic archer for our basic attack so essentially the combo here is using the sorcerer to use like Hargle for the Blizzard and the Prisian Flare, which you can then hit that Flare with the Magic Archer's basic attack to deal just incredible amounts of damage. The Magic Archer also has some great support and stagger capabilities if you wanted to put that on the third skill slot there, but mainly using the Magic Archer for the basic attack here because of its high amount of damage potential that you can do from that. This is definitely one of the most powerful combinations that I have found of the different combinations that I have tried. And it's really simple to get the benefits of, right? Just by hitting flare and then switching to the magic archer and then hitting that flare with your basic attacks. And then you've got the flexibility to switch between the two. And they both have really good synergies between these two being both magic classes and, and just the way that they can lean in each other's weaknesses and strengths. The second is one that I really thought was going to work and it, it just it doesn't work that great and I was kind of disappointed about it but I wanted to tell you about it anyway so I tried the trickster and the mystic spear hand because you know the trickster's weakness right is that they can't attack but they can taunt with their like little illusion that you can have there so I thought well what if I make some sort of a tanking thing with the trickster you know having everything attack the illusion then I switch to the mystic spear hand and just like clean up but the issue here is that the trickster's illusion when you don't have the trickster as your active vocation it just like disappears Appears almost instantly which kind of sucks I don't know why that happens like uh, you know I hope if the devs actually change that because then it makes like no sense for using the trickster with the warfare at all if your illusion just completely disappears right so I tried that combo it didn't particularly work but it was something fun that I thought I'd mention to you guys anyway now the third combo is just like what I've essentially been running because I think if you're running the warfare you should be playing something that is fun to you right comboing your favorite vocations and your favorite skills to just have fun because to to be honest the game isn't really that hard like you don't necessarily need to have the most bombastic build ever for me personally my favorite vocations are the magic archer which i've talked about in that video and the mystic spear hand which i talked about in that guide as well and so i'm using these together to then combo their skills that I like, especially like the mirror shield for the spear hand so I can avoid taking damage. And then I can stand there as the magic archer and deal massive stagger with Arctic shock and knock enemies down and then go into melee range and follow up with the mystic spear hand. I really like the combo of these two and it gives me both ranged and melee flexibility. And it's just my favorite two vocations. So that's sort of why I've gone that route. But, you know, but that's kind of what I wanted to highlight here, right? Is that you can make anything you want that is fun for you to play and there's some, a couple of examples that I have done but I'd love to know what you have tried in the comments down below and things that work like you know there's obvious ones right like the thief for example is obviously going to be great in any sort of these builds so let me know what builds you're running in the comments below but let's talk about some equipment and then some tips so literally any armor you can wear right like anything that's cool to you you can honestly put on because the warfare has access to literally everything so it's all about the fashion here to be honest now when you're upgrading your armor do recommend probably the dwarven style because of the knockdown resistance here plus it upgrades everything evenly same goes for like your weapons and your rings really like your rings are dependent on whatever build you're running right if you're running like a magic build like the sorcerer magic archer then having a ring that boosts your magic isn't bad and for the weapons you want to upgrade them at basically wherever makes sense for that weapon some tips for playing the warfare now with all of my other vocation guides that we have put out all the best skills and augments and tips and everything they're all relevant here for the warfare right like if you're playing as that vocation as the warfare it's absolutely still relevant here now I, as i mentioned like i highly recommend to experiment find your own combos use skills that you like and figure out what's fun for you now you can unequip the skill that switches the weapons like i mentioned earlier rearmament and then instead just like manually switch them in your inventory this gives you an extra skill slot if you want to then run four skills and you can actually switch your skills at the campsite which isn't super relevant for most of the other vocations but it is for the warfare here right 
like say if you want to switch up your build like you find a weapon or you just want to change up the skills you're using because at the campsite you can't change your vocation but you can change your skills and you've got access to basically every skill you can then just quickly change it on the fly at any campsite and then fun fact i guess for the vocation as well is that when you are a warfarer it will rank up all of your other vocations even if it's not the vocation you have equipped. So it won't get like heaps of actual like points, but all the vocations will actually get some points and you'll actually see often when you level up as a warfarer, it'll level up one of your other vocations as well, which is really cool. But thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Thank you to our members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.